I'm Justin Knight. This is my project for the semester. It's our spring capstone project for uh, motor the controls. Um, first, we can start off with um, how we wired it up. Um, we have our three phase um, 20 amp breakers, which goes to our one third horsepower motor. Um, and then we have our one uh, one phase 15 amp breaker for our transformer. All right, well, first off, the uh, transformer is a step down transformer because we have a simple push button set up here that we initially started with. And of course, you need a step down transformer because your contactors are only 24 volts. And in here, we have um, two contactors, an interlock and an overload, which pretty much protects the motor from any kind of power surges or anything like that. Um, and this is a pretty simple setup. Um, the way it works is right here you can see the buttons. You have your stop, your forward and reverse. And right now it's not wired up because we switched. Um, we kind of upgraded. But I can kind of show you pretty much how it works. Um, initially, how you would start it, you would press forward and the way the contactor works it has a holding contactor you would push forward and um, it would energize the holding contactor and it would lock it in like that all right when it's like that so you don't have to continuously stand there and hold the button all right and then the interlock would uh, open the circuit for the reverse so that you can't come along and push reverse without pushing stop and open the circuit back up um, and it's the same concept um, once the motor has stopped if you want to go in reverse you can push reverse and then the holder contactor would be energized and it would lock in and then the interlock of course would pretty much cut the power to the forward so that you can't come along and push forward until you push stop and it's the interlock is mechanical and electrical so it kind of works in both ways. That's why I can kind of show you um, what, whenever you push the forward, this would go in like this. And with the interlock in there, so you can't push the contactor in. And that's pretty much how it works. And the overload here, this is where the motor would be actually wired in right there. That way it's protected and our main disconnect which would come right through here and the disconnect is required by um, the NEC in case you have any issues with the motor. Um, any short circuit issues in here should um, be protected by your breakers here um, but if anything happens with the motor and all of a sudden you're freaking out you can't figure out what's going on just bam you hit your disconnect your motor shuts down and then you keep from frying your motor up. And that's basically how the uh, push button setup works. You really can't change um, the RPMs or anything. With the push button, it's gonna run what the nameplate rating says. So you don't really have a wide range of what you can do with it um, besides either forward or reverse. Um, and that's when they come along with the variable frequency drive. And I have my good buddy, Freddie here will uh, kind of explain how that works. Uh, would you step up here, Freddy? Yeah. Uh, my name is Freddy Garcia. I'll be showing you how to uh, work the variable frequency drive. Um, well, on mine, I have it hooked up to a three-phase 20-amp breaker. And then uh, this is our disconnect here to uh, turn this on and off. And then on the other side, it's got a three-phase motor. And so I'm going to run it now. The default setting on this goes up to uh, 60 hertz. And it's got uh, the RPMs at 1750. But with this, with this, I, I'm able to program it and set set the RPM higher 
So I'm gonna put that up to, I mean, I can put it anywhere, but, but this uh, motors can go up to 3450. And that's gonna start back up. It's gonna stay at 60 hertz, but the RPM now went up to 3450. And I can change other stuff too, the, uh, the hertz, the, I can put a timer on this. What I'm gonna do is change the, the time it takes to stop when I press the stop button it's just not going to take that long to stop anymore and that's what I have to show about this I'm Ken. Um, I'm here to talk this, uh, this semester some about our capstone project that we did. And um, first of all, we had to put us up a panel right here and run this um, power from the sub panel over here to this three-phase 30-amp breaker. We did have us a 110, well, single-phase 20-amp breaker in here going to this buck boost transformer, which would uh, take and bring 120 or 240 down to 12 to 24 volts, which is how we had it done that one time and that would come down to this uh, the controls which work but a stop and start button it kind of got crowded in there so it's easier to talk about it this way is that uh, this is a forward and reverse the interlock whenever you hit forward the forward button it holds in the contact and the uh, interlock it won't let it go in reverse until you completely stop the circuit and break the power from it then hit reverse and when it reverses in the forward contact cannot go because it is locked out also. And right here we have a current protector, which is um, in the event that any current surge goes from, from either the motor or through the, the power line, this right here would actually deactivate all the low voltage controls. And moving, that being said, we also have this um, current control, which is, we use it as a disconnect also, but we, this variable speed on the current, we can set it to check and it checks the current through each single phase of the line. So um, with that, whenever the current goes over here, this will break the power and cut it off on the line voltage, along with the uh, current overload for this right here, will break the low voltage also, which still in return, it uh, disconnects all power going to it. And then um, all that, all the fancy, all three big old mechanical, bulky item that makes up all this can be all converted down to this frequency drive right here which is uh, Ben Lamb is going to talk about. I'm here to talk about the uh, variable frequency drive right here. This is sort of the magic box of everything right here. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can uh, you can change the speed at which your motor runs. You can use it as a brake um, to stop whatever whatever task you are working with it um, or it can run in reverse and say it's a conveyor belt and you need to run it backwards for whatever reason it can do that too and it can be uh, it all the way it does all this is through changing the Hertz which is the frequency of the voltage that's going into the motor um, you can uh, you can bring up the speed and when it does that what it, it is is it's changing the AC current to DC current and then back and forth back to AC constantly at a different rate higher or lower frequency a higher frequency is going to make it run faster lower is slower um, and then let's see you can do all that just by programming it and you can just push the start button if you program it for to do a certain task and it can do it over and over and all you got to do is walk up push the button and leave it alone 
I'm going to uh, show you a couple of things. I'm just going to run it forward. And it takes a little, uh, little bit of time to come up to speed. That way you don't have a whole lot of voltage and burn up your uh, components throughout the whole system. And then you can speed it up. Slow it down. And then run in reverse at the same speed. And this motor is only going to turn about uh, 1725 as its max RPM. And you can go really, really low with it. Not sure how low, but very slow. So. I'm uh, Mike Finch. I'm going to talk about the uh, forward and reverse contactors with uh, mechanical and electrical interlocks. Uh, what we have here is, is your uh, forward and reverse contactors and you've got a mechanical electrical interlock in between and uh, they operate a forward and reverse motor we just we just have it hooked up not to a motor yet but uh, what we got here is the interlock in between it uh, what it does is it makes sure one contactor closes and keeps the other one open so you don't run a motor both forward and reverse at the same time uh, let's see and coming coming to that, you have a 24 volt buck boost transformer, which is uh, stepped down from the 240 volts and goes back to the three phase panel here with about 208 in between each phase, and a 15 amp breaker connected to that uh, transformer. Now I'll demonstrate how that works. Hit the forward button; it starts. You can't you can't start the uh, reverse while the forward's going, so you need to stop it. And then you can hit the reverse and it works like that. That's pretty much it. All right, I'm Caleb Clifton and I'm going to talk about the variable frequency drive. Uh, this thing will do many things and uh, pretty much we programmed this thing to take place of the motor contactors. The first thing we learned was to change the base R or the max RPMs in the motor to uh, increase the frequency. And starting off, it would run at uh, 60 hertz at the uh, the base RPMs, but we doubled that so it would run at 120 hertz, which is twice the speed. And then uh, the next thing we learned was uh, we done the uh, external controls away from the variable frequency drive. So if you wanted to be able to control it from another location or emergency purposes, and uh, it has a low voltage control circuit built in, so you don't need a transformer for that. And uh, we have the start button here, and then you have your potentiometer, which changes the hertz or the frequency. And then you have your stop button, and then a switch that'll so switch it from forward to reverse, and start, and stop. That's pretty much it. My name is Jason Spradlin, and I'm going to show you our uh, spring project of uh, basically wiring up a, uh, a variable frequency drive, which is basically a uh, programmable motor control. Uh, we came in three phase to a 20 amp breaker. And uh, basically what we did was uh, put a uh, forward and reverse start stop uh, controls on it, manual controls. Um, into the uh, contactor, which is also an overload, but it just uh, supplies the uh, power for the uh, frequency drive. Uh, the frequency drive is basically, like I said, a, a programmable motor control to where you can uh, increase the hertz uh, to make the motor run faster, uh, forward, reverse. Uh, it's very uh, uh, manipulable through uh, the programming of the uh, variable frequency drive. So so 
with it on, we're actually uh, running it forward and we can run it backwards by stopping it. Switch into forward and run it the other way. And that's all I got. I'm Carl Shelton and this is our capstone project. Um, the most important part of this is probably our motor. This is a three-phase, one-quarter horsepower, just kind of general industrial motor. It normally runs about 1.4 amps. It's got two settings. It's got a low voltage of from like 208 to 240 and a high voltage of around 460 to 480. Uh, from this we've got it running, well we initially had it wired through this forward reverse contactor down here. It's just two of them put together. It's got a mechanical electrical interlock in the middle to prevent it from running in forward and reverse at the same time because that'll, that'll screw your motor up. And then this is also, but this is controlled a bit differently than this. This requires 24 voltage across the coil and so to make that happen we have a buck boost transformer up here that steps the voltage down from 240 to 24 so that that, that lowered voltage runs the, the contactor and the initial voltage goes across the contactor into the motor. And then it was normally run by three buttons. It had a stop button and then a forward start and a reverse start. But we disconnected all that to do the frequency drop. And Zach's going to talk about that. Hey, my name is Zach Russell. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the variable frequency drive. This is a really fantastic device here. It allows you to eliminate the transformer and the forward and reverse relays because it works directly off 230 volt and three phases. So what the main function of this device is, is to change the frequency of alternating, alternating current. And what you get when we do that is it can either slow down or make the motor go faster. And there's a lot of benefits to that. When you run it at, say, 50, 50 hertz, you can take your amp clamp here. And see that it's running at about 1.28 amps. But then if you'd like to make it go faster, we can jump it up here to 98 hertz. The amps has dropped down to 0.53. So not only does the device allow you to have more control over the motor, it can make it more energy efficient and more green. It comes with also many other benefits. You can easily change it from forward reverse with one switch of a button. It also can be controlled via the internet and say you need to do something from home or on the road or program it to do certain things at different times. You know, eight in the morning you need to go faster, seven at night you need it to slow down, it'll do it automatically for you. And since you know we're in the phases right in, right out, right to our motor. And that's my presentation.